pertussis is uh, more commonly known as the uh, whooping cough or whooping cough, however you pronounce that. Now, it is a uh, bacterial disease that is caused by uh, Bordetella pertussis, and it looks something uh, like the picture here if you put it under a microscope. Now, one thing you should note is that it's highly contagious, meaning it can uh, be spread around uh, quite quickly. Now, how is it transmitted? Uh, well, there's two ways. Uh, the first way is uh, direct contact with uh, respiratory uh, secretions. And the second way it can be transmitted is airborne droplets of those uh, respiratory uh, secretions. The uh, signs and symptoms are a uh, perioximal cough, better known as the whooping cough, and uh, vomiting afterwards. Now, uh, pertussis can cause uh, hemorrhages, rib fractures, urinary problems, hernias, uh, post-cough post fainting, and uh, ver vertebral uh, artery uh, dissection. Now, the uh, symptoms are initially mild, and then they develop into uh, more severe coughing fits known as the uh, whooping cough. That's where we get the term uh, whooping cough from. And the uh, coughing stage can last up to uh, six weeks before uh, subsiding. So, uh, how do you diagnose it, or what's the diagnosis for it? Well, uh, you start out with uh, culturing uh, swabs. There's the uh, body gingau medium. Then there's the uh, polymerase uh, chain reaction known as uh, PCR. And then there's a uh, direct uh, immunofluorescence uh, known as DFA. And there's also uh, serological uh, methods. Now for the direct uh, or the DFA, uh, bacteria can be covered uh, during the first three weeks of the illness and after that uh, the swabs are pretty much useless. Now, uh, what types of treatment uh, can be done for pertussis? Uh, well, there's antibiotics and there's four types of them. The uh, first type is azithromycin. Uh, another type of antibiotic that can be treated is uh, erythromycin. Then there's uh, clarithromycin. And then the fourth item is uh, known as uh, TMP or SMZ. Now, uh, these antibiotics are recommended because they shorten uh, the duration of how long the infections last. There's also another way uh, pertussis can actually be prevented and that's with uh, vaccines such as uh, DTP or the uh, newer version uh, DTAP. And uh, we'll close on an interesting note that I read. Uh, it was that when the uh, B. pertussis uh, genome was sequenced back in 2004 it was found to have uh, over 4 million base pairs. So quite a uh, complicated uh, genome. Thank you for watching.